Oto Mangaan languages also Otomangaan, are a large family comprising several subfamilies of indigenous languages of the Americas. All of the Oto Mangaan languages that are now spoken are indigenous to Mexico, but the Mangaan branch of the family, which is now extinct, was spoken as far south as Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Oto Mangaan is widely viewed as a proven language family. However, this status has been recently challenged. Brown 2015. The highest number of speakers of Oto Mangaan languages today are found in the state of Oaxaca, where the two largest branches, the Zapotecan and Mixtecan languages, are spoken by almost 1.5 million people combined. In central Mexico, particularly in the states of Mexico, Hidalgo and Curitaro, the languages of the Oto Pamian branch are spoken. The Otomi and the closely related Mazahua have over 500,000 speakers combined. Some Oto Mangaan languages are moribund or highly endangered, for example, Ixcatec and Matlatzinka each has fewer than 250 speakers, most of whom are elderly. Other languages particularly of the Mangaan branch which was spoken outside of Mexico have become extinct, these include the Chiapanic language, which has only recently been declared extinct. Others such as Subtiaba, which was most closely related to Mefa to Lapanek, have been extinct longer and are only known from early 20th century descriptions. The Oto Mangaan language family is the most diverse and most geographically widespread language family represented in Mesoamerica. The internal diversity is comparable with that of Indo-European, and the Proto-Oto Mangaan language is estimated to have been spoken some time before 2000 BCE. This means that at least for the past 4,000 years Oto Mangaan languages have coexisted with the other languages of Mesoamerica and have developed many traits in common with these, to such an extent that they are seen as part of a sprachbund called the Mesoamerican Linguistic Area. However Oto Mangaan also stands out from the other language families of Mesoamerica in several features. It is the only language family in North America, Mesoamerica and Central America whose members are all tonal languages. It also stands out by having a much more analytic structure than other Mesoamerican languages. Another typical trait of Oto Mangaan is that its members almost all show VSO verb subject object in basic order of clausal constituents. History of classification Internal classification and reconstruction a genetic relationship between Zapotecan and Mixtecan was first proposed by Manuel Orozco y Berra in 1864. He also included Cuicatec, Chocho and Amusgo in his grouping. In 1865 Pimentel added Mazatec, Popoloca, Chatino and Chinantec. He also posed a separate group of Pame, Otomi and Mazahua, the beginning of the Oto Pamian subranch. Daniel Brinton S. Classification of 1891 added Matlatzinka and Chichimeca Jonas to Pimentel. S. Oto Pamian group, which Wasn. T. known by that name then, and he reclassified some languages of the previously included languages of the Oaxacan group. In 1920, Walter Lehman included the Chiapanic Mang languages and correctly established the major subgroupings of the Oaxacan group. And in 1926 Schmidt coined the name Otomi Mang for a group consisting of the Oto Pamian languages and Chiapanic Mang. The Oto Pamian group and the main Oaxacan group were not joined together into one family until Sapper's classification in 1929, where it was included in the Hokan family. From the 1950s on reconstructive work began to be done on individual Oto Mangaan language groups. Proto-Oto Pamian was reconstructed by Doris Bartholomew, Proto-Zapotecan by Morris Swadish, Proto-Chiapanic Mang by Fernandez de Miranda and Whitelaner. The classification by Campbell 1997 was the first to present a unified view of the Oto Mangaan languages. In 1981 William Merrifield published a reconstruction of the kinship terminologies of each of the Oto Mangaan branches and of Proto-Oto Mangaan. Unpublished reconstructions of Proto-Oto Mangaan grammar have also been made by Terence Kaufman. In spite of the lack of a full published reconstruction of Proto-Oto Mangaan, the language family has now been widely accepted by specialists, including Lyle Campbell, Terence Kaufman, and William Poser. Campbell and Poser writing in 2008 concluded that 
quote, quote, Tilapanek Suftiaba proved not to belong to Hokan, as postulated by Sapper, 1925a, but to be a branch of Otomangayan. Quote, quote, Nonetheless a few studies have retained the inclusion in Hokan, particularly Joseph Greenberg's widely rejected 1987 classification, as well as its derivative works by Merritt Rulin. Writing in 1988, Leonardo Manrique still listed Tilapanek Mang as an isolated family. The status of the Amusgo language as either a part of the Mixtecan group or as forming its own branch from the Proto Oto Mangaan node has been discussed by Longacre, who argued for the latter, but the currently most accepted classification by Campbell 1997 follows Terence Kaufman in considering Amusgo to be a branch of Mixtecan. Swadesh and Wrench included the Wavi language as a separate branch within Oto Mangan, but this inclusion has proved untenable as most of the cognates were loan words from Zapotec. Wavi is now considered an isolate. Longacre 1968 considered Oto Mangan to be among the most extensively studied language families of the world, with a level reconstruction rivaling the Indo-European family in completeness. But Kaufman and Justice in 2009 reject this, lamenting the rudimentary reconstruction of Proto-Oto Mangan lexicon. Only c. 350 items have been reconstructed, and grammar. They call for a redoubling of the effort to document and reconstruct several important branches that have received little attention, principally Mixtecan, Popolokan and Oto Pamian. Brown 2015 evaluates evidence assembled in support of Oto Mangan. He points out that vocabulary reconstructed for Proto-Oto Mangan is not supported by regular sound correspondences. While scholars, including Swadesh, Wrench, and Kaufman, have all reconstructed palm words, none have done so with the benefit of detailed sound correspondences and, consequently Brown argues that their reconstructions as well as Oto Mangan itself are called into question. Nevertheless, Brown 2015 suggests that Oto Mangan as Sprachbund language diffusion area is a reasonable alternative hypothesis to the proposal of Oto Mangan as a language family. Inclusion in macro family hypotheses Some early classifications, such as that by Brinton, considered that Oto Mangan languages might be related to Chinese, because like Chinese, the languages were tonal and mostly monosyllabic. This idea was quickly abandoned as it was discovered that tonal languages are common, and advances in the historical study of Chinese were made, including the discovery that Old Chinese was non tonal. Edward Sapper included Subtiaba Tilapanek in his Hokan phylum, but didn't classify the other Oto Mangan languages in his famous 1929 classification. In his 1960 classification, Joseph Greenberg considered Oto Mangan so aberrant from other Native American languages that it was the only accepted family, aside from the Purepicha isolate, which he made a primary branch of his Amun family. However, in his 1987 revision, he linked it with Aztec Tanoan in a Central Amund branch, apart from Tilapanek, which, although it had by then been unequivocally linked to Oto Mangan, he continued to classify as Hokan. No hypotheses including Oto Mangan in any higher level unit have been able to withstand scrutiny. Prehistory The Oto Mangaan family has existed in southern Mexico at least since 2000 BCE and probably several thousand years before. Some estimates using the controversial method of glottochronology suggest an approximate splitting date of Proto Otomangaan at c. 4400 BCE. This makes the Oto Mangaan family the language family of the Americas with the deepest time depth, as well as the oldest language family with evidence of tonal contrast in the proto language. The Oto Mangaan or Hymat has been thought to be in the Tehuacan Valley in connection with one of the earliest Neolithic cultures of Mesoamerica, and although it is now in doubt whether Tehuacan was the original home of the proto Oto Mangaan people, it is agreed that the Tehuacan culture 5000 BCE to 2300 BCE were likely Oto Mang speakers. Speakers. The long history of the Oto Mangaan family has resulted in considerable linguistic diversity between the branches of the family. Terence Kaufman compares the diversity between the main branches of Oto Mangaan with that between the main branches of Indo European. Kaufman also proposes that Oto Mangaan languages are an important candidate for being the source of many of the traits that have diffused into the other languages in the Mesoamerican linguistic area. 
OTO Mang speakers have been among the earliest to form highly complex cultures of Mesoamerica. The archaeological site of Monte Alban with remains dated as early as 1000 BCE is believed to have been in continuous use by Zapotecs. The undeciphered Zapotec script is one of the earliest forms of Mesoamerican writing. Other Mesoamerican cultural centers which may have been wholly or partly Oto Mangaan include the late classical sites of Zachicalco, which may have been built by Matlatzincas, and Cholula, which may have been inhabited by Mangaan peoples. And some propose an Oto Pamian presence in Teotihuacan. The Zapotecs are among the candidates to have invented the first writing system of Mesoamerica, and in the post-classic period the Mixtecs were prolific artisans and codex painters. During the post-classic the Oto Mangaan cultures of central Mexico became marginalized by the intruding Nahuas and some, like the Chiapanic Mang speakers went south into Guerrero, Chiapas and Central America, while others such as the Otomi saw themselves relocated from their ancient homes in the Valley of Mexico to the less fertile highlands on the rim of the valleys. Geography and demographics Western branch Oto Pamian. The languages of the Oto Pamian branch are spoken in central and western Mexico. The group includes the Otomian languages, Otomi spoken primarily in the states of Mexico, Hidalgo, Puebla, and Veracruz, c. speakers, and Mazahua spoken in the western part of the state of Mexico, c. 350,000 speakers, and the endangered Matlatzincan languages, including Matlatzinca, c. 1,000 speakers in the town of San Francisco Oxtatilpa, and Luica, also called Aquitico, c. 400 speakers in the Municipio of Acuilan, both spoken in the state of Mexico, and the Pamian group composed of the two living Pame languages of San Luis Potosi, northern Pame, one being spoken in communities from the north of Rio Verde on the border with Tamaulipas, c. 5,500 speakers, and central Pame, too, spoken in the town of Santa Maria Acapulco, c. 4,000 speakers, the extinct Southern Pame language, and the Chichimeca Jonas language spoken in Mission de Chichimecas near San Luis de La Paz in the state of Guanajuato, c. 200 speakers. Otomi is traditionally described as a single language, although its many dialects are not all mutually intelligible. The language classification of the SIL International's Ethnologue considers Otomi to be a cover term for nine separate Otomi languages and assigns a different ISO code to each of these nine varieties. Currently Otomi varieties are spoken collectively by c. 239,000 speakers, some 5 to 6 percent of whom are monolingual. Because of recent migratory patterns, small populations of Otomi speakers can be found in new locations throughout Mexico and in the United States. The Otomi languages are vigorous in some areas, with children acquiring the language through natural transmission e.g. in the Mezquital Valley of Hidalgo and in the highlands. However three varieties are now considered moribund, those of Ixtenco, Tlaxcala State, Santiago Tlapa and Acazulco, Mexico State, and Cruz del Palmer, Guanajuato State. In some municipalities the level of monolingualism in Otomi is as high as 22.3%, Wewetla, Hidalgo, or 13.1%, Texcatepec, Veracruz. Monolingualism is normally significantly higher among women than among men. Chinantican The Chinantican languages are spoken by C. 93,000 people in northern Oaxaca and southern Veracruz in the districts of Cuicatlan, Iclan de Juarez, Tuxtepec and Choapan. The ethnologue recognizes 14 separate varieties with separate ISO codes. Tilapanec Mang The Tilapanec language is spoken by c. 75,000 people in Guerrero. There are four principal varieties named after the communities where they are spoken, Akatepic, Azoyu, Malinatepic and Tilacoapa. Recent labor migrations have introduced Tilapanec speaking communities to the state of Morelos. It was closely related to the Subtiaba language which was spoken in Nicaragua but which is now extinct. The Mangaan languages are all extinct. They included the Mang and Coratega languages that were spoken in Nicaragua and Costa Rica at the beginning of the 20th century, and the Chiapanic language which was spoken in Chiapas, Mexico by a handful of speakers in the 1990s, but is now extinct. Eastern branch Popolokan The Popolokan language group includes the seven different varieties of Popoloca which are spoken in southern Puebla state near Tehuacan and Tepic C. de Rodriguez c. 30,000 speakers, and the closely related Chocho language c. 
700 speakers spoken in northern Oaxaca state, and the eight different Mazatecan languages spoken in northern Oaxaca c. 120,000 speakers, and the nearly extinct Ixcatec language spoken in Santa Maria Ixcatlan, Zapotecan The Zapotecan subgroup is formed by the Zapotec languages c. 785,000 speakers of all varieties and the related Chatino languages c. 23,000 speakers. They are all traditionally spoken in central and southern Oaxaca, but have been spread throughout Mexico and even into the United States through recent labor-related migrations. Zapotec languages and dialects fall into four broad geographic divisions, Zapoteco de la Sierra Norte, Northern Zapotec, Valley Zapotec, Zapoteco de la Sierra Sur, Southern Zapotec, and Isthmus Zapotec. Northern Zapotec languages are spoken in the mountainous region of Oaxaca, in the northern Sierra Madre mountain ranges, southern Zapotec languages and are spoken in the mountainous region of Oaxaca, in the southern Sierra Madre mountain ranges, Valley Zapotec languages are spoken in the Valley of Oaxaca, and Isthmus Zapotec languages are spoken in the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. The ethnologue recognizes 57 varieties of Zapotec and 6 varieties of Chatino by distinct ISO codes. Mixtecan Amuzgon The Mixtecan branch includes the many different, mutually unintelligible varieties of Mixtec spoken by about 511,000 people as well as the Treek or Trequi languages, spoken by about 24,500 people and Quiquitec, spoken by about 15,000 people. The Mixtecan languages are traditionally spoken in the region known as La Mixteca, which is shared by the states of Oaxaca, Puebla and Guerrero. Because of migration from this region the Mixtecan languages have expanded to Mexico's main urban areas, particularly the state of Mexica and the federal district, to certain agricultural areas such as the San Quintin Valley in Baja California and parts of Morelos and Sonora, and even into the United States. The Mixtec language is a complex set of regional varieties, many of which are not mutually intelligible. The varieties of Mixtec are sometimes grouped by geographic area, using designations such as those of the Mixteca Alta, the Mixteca Baja, and the Mixteca de la Costa. However, the dialects do not actually follow the geographic areas, and the precise historical relationships between the different varieties have not been worked out. The number of varieties of Mixtec depends in part on what the criteria are for grouping them, of course, at one extreme, government agencies once recognized no dialectal diversity. Mutual intelligibility surveys and local literacy programs have led SIL International to identify more than 50 varieties which have been assigned distinct ISO codes. Four Amuzgo varieties are spoken in the Costa Chica region of the states of Guerrero and Oaxaca by about 44,000 speakers. The four varieties recognized by the Mexican government are, Northern Amuzgo, Amuzgo del Norte, commonly known as Guerrero or from its major town, Zachislawaca Amuzgo, Southern Amuzgo, Amuzgo del Sur, heretofore classified as a subdialect of Northern Amuzgo, Upper Eastern Amuzgo, Amuzgo Alto del Este, commonly known as Oaxaca Amuzgo or San Pedro Amuzgo's Amuzgo, Lower Eastern Amuzgo, Amuzgo Bajo del Este, commonly known as Ipalapa Amuzgo. These varieties are very similar, but there is a significant difference between western varieties northern and southern and eastern varieties upper eastern and lower eastern, as revealed by recorded text testing done in the 1970s. Phonology Common phonological traits all OTO Mangaan languages have tone, some have only two level tones while others have up to five level tones. Many languages in addition have a number of contour tones. Many OTO Mangaan languages have phonemic vowel nasalization. Many OTO Mangaan languages lack labial consonants, particularly stops and those that do have labial stops normally have these as a reflex of proto-OTO Mangaan asterisk, k. Syllable structure Proto-OTO Mangaan allowed only open syllables of the structure CV, or CV. Syllable initial consonant clusters are very limited, usually only sibilant CV, CYV, CWV, nasal CV, CHV, or CV are allowed. Many modern OTO Mangaan languages keep these restrictions in syllable structure but others, most notably the OTO Pamian languages, now allow both final clusters and long syllable initial clusters. 
This example with three initial and three final consonants is from Northern Pame, for Nano Leader O2 SPT. Their houses. Phonemes of Proto Oto Mangan The following phonemes are reconstructed for Proto Oto Mangan. Wrench also reconstructs four tones for Proto Oto Mangan. A later revised reconstruction by Terence Kaufman adds the proto phonemes asterisk ts asterisk theta asterisk x asterisk x asterisk l asterisk r asterisk per meter and asterisk o and the vowel combinations asterisk ia asterisk i asterisk aya and asterisk o. The OTO Mangan languages have changed quite a lot from the very Spartan phoneme inventory of proto OTO Mangan. Many languages have rich inventories of both vowels and consonants. Many have a full series of fricatives, and some branches particularly Zapadikan and Chinantikan distinguish voicing in both stops and fricatives. The voiced series of the Oto Pamian languages have both fricative and stop allophones. Otomian also have full series of front, central and back vowels. Some analyses of Mixtecan include a series of voiced prenasalized stops and affricates, these can also be analyzed as consonant sequences but it would be the only consonant clusters known in the languages. These are some of the most simple sound changes that have served to divide the OTO Mangan family into subbranches. Asterisk T to P in Chatino. Asterisk K to P in Chiapanic Mang, Oto Pame, and Isthmus Zapotec. Asterisk S to Theta in Mixtecan. Asterisk S to T in Chatino. Asterisk with to O before vowels in Oto Pame. Asterisk J to I before vowels in Oto Pame and Amusgo. Tone systems The Oto Mangan languages have a wide range of tonal systems, some with as many as ten tone contrasts and others with only two. Some languages have a register system only distinguishing tones by the relative pitch. Others have a contour system that also distinguishes tones with gliding pitch. Most however are combinations of the register and contour systems. Tone as a distinguishing feature is entrenched in the structure of the Oto Mangan languages and in no way a peripheral phenomenon as it is in some languages that are known to have acquired tone recently or which are in a process of losing it. In most Oto Mangan languages tone serves to distinguish both between the meanings of roots and to indicate different grammatical categories. In Chiquihuitlan Mazatec which has four tones the following minimal pairs occur, ta 1. I talk. Ta squared. Difficult. Ta cubed. His hand. Ta four. He talks. The language with the most level tones is Usula Chinantec which has five level tones and no contour tones. Treak of Chikawaxtla has a similar system. In Kapala Treak, which has a mixed system, only three level tones but five tonal registers are distinguished within the contour tones. Many other systems have only three tones levels, such as Tilapanek and Texmalukan Zapotec. Particularly common in the Oto Pamian branch are small tonal systems with only two level tones and one combination, such as Pame and Otomi. Some others like Matlatsinka and Chichimeca Jonas only have the level tones and no combination. In some languages stress influences tone, for example in Pame only stressed syllables have a tonal contrast. In Chadino where stress falls predictably on the last syllable of polysyllables, tone is also only distinguished on the last syllable. In Mazahua the opposite occurs and all syllables except the final stressed one distinguishes tone. In Tilapanek stress is determined by the tonal contour of the words. Most languages have systems of sandy where the tones of a word or syllable are influenced by other tones in other syllables or words. Chinantec has no sandy rules but Mixtec and Zapotec have elaborate systems. For Mazatec some dialects has elaborate sandy systems e.g. Soil Tepic and others have not e.g. Watla Mazatec. Some languages particularly Mixtecan also have terrace systems where some tones are upstep or downstep causing a raise or drop in pitch level for the entire tonal register in subsequent syllables. 
whistled speech. Several OTO Mangan languages have systems of whistled speech, whereby whistling the tonal combinations of words and phrases, information can be transmitted over distances without using words. Whistled speech is particularly common in Chinantec, Mazatec and Zapotecan languages. Overview Notes References External links SIL on the OTO Manga in stock why You Should Study an Endangered OTO Mangan Language. PDF, 82. 9 Kibibytes, by Rosemary Beam de Azcona. Comparative Swadesh vocabulary lists for OTO Mangan languages from Wiktionary.